right? Okay, so yesterday you were asked to do this investigation. So I would like to see your conclusion regarding this. So let's talk about the first one. For the original distribution, what do you have for your expectation of x and variance of x? So for 1a, expectation of x is what? And the variance of x is what? 2. Two. So the B part of the question says, consider this distribution. So this is y equals uh, 2x plus 3. So what do you get for expectation of y? Expression of y is what I mean by expression of 2x plus 3. Everybody understand? OK. Uh, let's just write it as 2x plus 3. You got what? 9. 9. And the variance of that? 8. 8? Yes. So let's look at C. So in C1, I ask you to repeat the same thing. So uh, this is when y equals 3x minus 2. What is the expectation of 3x minus 2? 7. 7. And the variance of 3x minus 2? 18. Speak louder, please. 18. 18. Okay. I think uh, there is one more. No, this is C1. C2. Y equals negative 2x plus 5. What was the expectation? What do you get? Negative one. Negative 1. And the variance? 8. Eight. Okay. So on the next page, let's leave the 3 out of it. And 4. Let's move to here. Now I said, so question 2 now. I said, by studying your result, predict the relationship between expectation of x and expectation of ax plus b. I think this is trivia because we proved it already. Right? So if you look at it, expectation of this and this, it's simply, so expectation of ax plus b is what? A expectation of x plus b. This is the relationship. When I say predict the relationship between these two, it doesn't mean this has to be written first on the left-hand side. Come on. I'm just saying write something that makes sense that has to do with both of them. And this is it, which has already been proved. I, I think I created this worksheet with the, uh, I, I was thinking we will do the investigation for it, then we will do the proof, the formal proof. But we had already done the formal proof in the class, so there's no, this is not an issue. So we can always see that this 9 is more or less 2 times 3 plus 3. This 7 is more or less 3 times 3 minus 2. And this negative 1 is more or less minus 2 times 3 plus 5. So that works. Okay, so the one that we haven't proved yet is this. I ask you to predict something for variance of x and uh, variance of ax plus b. What did you notice? So looking at the numbers, so let's, let's uh, highlight the numbers. So variance of x is negative 2, variance here is negative 8, 18, another 8. Any observation? 8, a squared times variance. A squared, definitely. That's the observation. The constant part does not have any effect. Doesn't have any effect. We will see that variance of a constant is zero. We will see very soon. So, this is. So, the variance of ax plus b is simply a squared times variance of x. Okay? And consequently, even though it's not part of this stuff, it means the standard deviation of ax plus b which is the square root of the variance of ax plus b, right? Variance is sigma square, right? It's simply the square root of a squared variance of that, which is absolute value of a times the variance 
square root, sorry. Understand? Which is simply absolute value of A, standard deviation of X. Okay, this is a property that we will be using. Now, we are going to prove this now formally. Okay, and the last worksheet is simply applying the property of expectation of AX plus B, variance of AX plus B, and of course, by extension, standard deviation of AX plus B in some questions. And uh, I found some questions that I put in this worksheet. So let's prove this first for standard uh, the variance. <coughs> so what we are going to do is start with the constants, start with the products, and start with uh, then we consider everything. Recall that these are uh, the tools we, we might need. Um, expectation. We probably don't need the expectation property. I know. Recall that variance of x is the expectation of x minus mu all squared or variance of x is expectation of x squared minus expectation of x, right, all squared. So let's see what happens to, I call this, uh, now let's see the first one. What is the variance of a constant k? Okay, so maybe I say, okay, let's, Let's use A and B again. Let A and B be scalars. Let A and B be scalars. Okay. Then, of course, X is a random variable, so I'm not writing that. The variance of A is equal to, by definition, variance of A will be expectation of A squared. Right? Or we could use this minus this all squared. Do you understand? Well, this is easier to prove what we want to prove instead of this one. So it's just going to be together. Let's use the second one. Yes? So this becomes what? A squared by property of expectation, that expectation of a constant is the constant, right? And this is, in the brackets, A. 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 Because expectation of any constant is that constant. The same thing, right? Zero. So variance of a constant is zero. That's why in that linear stuff, B does not even reflect. Okay? Now, how does A reflect? We'll see now. Two, let's see what happens if you have A and X. Let's follow the same definition, too, here. Okay? Yes, together. Expectation of A. All squared, right? So, uh, I can do this, or it's better I just write a square x square or I just put this something like this then minus expectation of a x all squared yes so definitely this is expectation of a squared x squared this is still expectation actually something can happen in here what's that a, thank you, expectation of x, all squared, right? Something can happen in here as well. What's that? A squared, a squared. expectation x squared. Uh-huh, yes. A squared, expectation x squared. Very good. What do we do next? Speak louder, please. What do we do next? Factorize. Factorize. A squared, yes? Expectation Maybe I write here, so you can see. So this implies that the variance of AX, yes, is equal to 
a squared and expectation of x squared expectation of x all squared uh, then another big bracket right so what does this mean what is this a times variance of x that's what that's part of what you have observed okay so so variance of ax simply that questions now three the linear combination proper, the, the, the linear form. Let's see, AX plus B. Okay? That would be what, by definition? Expectation of AX plus B squared minus expectation of AX plus B all squared. This is what do you think we can do? I come here because I need space. Say that again. We can expand this. All right? Because this is about expectation, and we know the property of expectation already. So we can expand this. So that will be expectation of a squared x squared plus 2ab x plus. Please remember, this x is uppercase. Don't write lowercase. Then we have minus there's no, this. What will happen here? A, a, a expectation of x plus, plus, plus b, right? All squared. All squared. That's all we can do here using the property of expectation. Maybe I should write here. Let's then by using property of expectation, I will change that preamble. Then we don't have to write so many because because we already say using property of expectation. Or better still, each step tell us what you have used. Something like that. So I just write what I call this recall this and state all the property of the expectation, call it one, two, three, something like that. If you are proving, then go oh, using one, using two, using three. Understand? So if you are proving something, you want to really communicate that you know what you're doing and stating the reasons. But you don't have to state the reason each line. You can first write all your reasons, call them one, two, three, four, five, and each time tell us reason one, reason two, three, four, five. So this gives you quickly a squared expectation x squared. Yes? 2ab expectation x b squared. This can still be expanded. So minus, let's open the bracket. So let's say minus here. So we have a squared expectation of x all squared, yes? Then we have plus 2ab expectation x plus b squared in brackets. So we can open the brackets. We get a squared expectation x squared, 2ab expectation x plus b squared minus, so I put the minus here, a squared expectation of x all squared is not going to cancel it's not right then minus 2ab expectation then minus b squared so the other two we cancel leaving the first two so we have a squared expectation of x squared a squared expectation of x all squared can you see something already so clearly you can see b is no longer in the picture so expectation of what? Bracket. X, bracket x squared minus expectation of x all squared. So clearly this is just a squared variance of x. So whether you have just a constant multiplying the random variable or you have a constant multiplying plus another constant, you are going to get the same thing. And the reason is not far-fetched. The variance of that constant standing alone does not matter. Okay? So if uh, a random variable, you know random variable takes different values, right? 
So if, if all the values are multiplied by something, this is how you can get the variance of the new one. We did something like that before, right? The, it will get to be double, something like that. So you can look at it from here also. The expectation is mean, right? What we notice in the distribution then is that when two is added to each data, two is added to the, uh, to the average. Do you understand my point? When two is added to each data, your average also shoots up by two. Am I making sense? So these are the things that we also observed before. When it is double, the mean is doubled as well. And that is just the property of expectation. Expectation of 2x is 2 times the expectation of x itself. Because the expectation of x is the mean. So what you kind of know from other investigation is now formally proved using expectation and variance now. Just to give you a better understanding, and of course, as a university student to be, we do not expect you to say, oh, using some of the worksheets I did in my class. You have to present a formal reason and these are the formal ways of presenting your argument. Okay? So that is, uh, those are the properties. And of course, this extends to uh, the standard deviation. So I'm just going to write, as a result of these results, the standard deviation. So I'm writing the summary here. Okay? So please, let's write. And the rest is just uh, practicing this worksheet. Instead of variance, you might see sigma square. You should know it's the same thing, all right? Or VAR. But usually, you don't see SD as standard deviation. You just see sigma. But you see VAR for variance. variance of a constant is zero, standard deviation of that constant is also what? Zero. Say that again? Also zero. Understand? So maybe I just write it as an implication. This implies that standard deviation of A is the square root of the variance of A is also zero. This implies that the standard deviation of AX the square root of the variance of AX, which is the square root of A squared variance of X. I think this is too long. <coughs> I better break it. My OCD won't let me write. Thank you, Nakita, for influencing my OCD.
We finish at one, yeah? Mm -hmm. So we are done with all the explanation, so the rest is just your practice time. So as a summary, expectation, variance, and standard deviation. Table, you see the You see? I just nail it. Mm -hmm. Because I saw half of there. There's half of there. You know what I said? What did you say? When you came here, I thought you'd come and drink my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my time for coffee yet. I probably will just steal your coffee too.
Okay. Please, attention. The property is enough. X is a discrete random variable with mean 6 and standard deviation 2. In summary, expectation of X is what? Six. Say that again? Six. Six. Come on. Mm. And standard deviation of X? Two. two. That's in summary what you have. <coughs> expectation is the mean. Maybe we write mean first. We use the expectation of value to six, something like that. For x, so I can put a subscript. So we know this is the mean for x. Alright? So y is 4 times x. So all the data x can assume. Multiply by 4, then add 3. We don't need to know those data. But yet we can still do something about their own statistics. Alright? So y equals 4x plus 3. So the mean of y is simply the expectation of 4x plus 3. Okay? Just to apply the property of the expectation. So this is equal to what? 4 expectation of x, yes? Then we substitute. 4 times 6 plus 3, which is 27. Yes? The next is sigma of y. Sigma of y is sigma of 4x plus 3. By the property of ax plus b with variance and standard deviation, it's just going to be the absolute value of what? What? Four. Absolute four. value of 4. Four. Okay, 4 is the a. So this is absolute value of 4, which is 4, so you don't have to write the absolute value. But in case it is negative, we are saying only take the absolute value. So maybe you want to write absolute value so that when it is negative, you say absolute value of minus 1, absolute value of minus 5, so you know what you are dealing with. Okay? And multiply by the sigma of x. So you are welcome to write this first. You don't have to go to variance first, then come back to standard deviation. No. Okay? So this is going to be 4 times... 2, which is equal to 8. So we don't need to know the data, we don't care who they are, but we can always, once we know the relationship between the two random variables, we can get either the measure of center of tendency or some of the spread, like the standard deviation and variance, even without knowing what the data are. That's the beauty of these properties. Any questions? Alright, so that's all. You have your paper. <coughs> So you may work on, before you go, on the new worksheet that I gave you for the class practice, you may work on number four, which is similar to this one, and you may also work on, sorry Miss K, I'm writing rubbish on your paper. Oh, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> so number four, I've just done number five. Uh, Number eight, it looks nice. Nine is a word problem. So, so four, seven, eight, nine. Like, just your self practice. Oh, you know, whatever. We only have a few minutes though, so you probably won't be able to complete everything. I'm going to go around also and drop your graded assignment on your table. What? Of this? Yeah. Of the graded assignment. You're not going to send me a PDF back. No, 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 I'm going to print it out. Well, what's the point when I'm going to no, print it for you? Oh, okay. Yeah. He's trying to tell us he's a subsidiary. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he, he likes to show off, <laughs> which is fine. We, we all, some of us like food, so we like to show that off also. Well, I didn't throw shade at anyone. I'm just speaking in general. The last page, that's just the first two pages, so. Just Whatever I give you, don't give anyone else. <laughs> Especially those that show up. Okay, so the really? No, no, there's something about this new printer. 
if I print, it prints the first one, then it goes back to the next one instead of like collating for me. It's maybe it's in the settings. Yeah, maybe. I'm probably the dumb one, not the right. <laughs> It's okay to be dumb once in a while. Oh, okay. The keyword is. Uh, I don't think we have any.